Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Today's video is just going to be about a few things that I found at Goodwill and just wanted to say a few things so it's going to be a short and sweet video and here we go. First off, what I found at Goodwill was to go along with the rest of my tin collection that I've been finding at Goodwill. I found a Tinkerbell tin and I plan on using this tin for my Disney Infinity uh, power disc and uh, playset. Um, for now, I've got my my character cards in there just because I haven't been gotten a chance to get like a baseball card album to put them in there. And so that was, I got the tin, and something else I found was this clock. Um, the clock does work for the most part; it ticks around. Um, the the second hand and the minute hand are the only hands that move though. The hour hand doesn't move, so I just took the battery out of it. There's no point in wasting a battery if the clock isn't going to work right. But I figured it was a nice little decoration for my collection I got going back here. And it's got it's got Sleeping Beauty, Cinderella, and Belle on it. Uh, the the plastic is a little foggy on it just because it's old. I tried to clean that up, just no way of getting it off. If you know of a way to get this the fogginess off of it, please let me know. <laughs> Uh, something else they found was this program. This is an older program. It's from 97 here, and it's uh, an art studio. I'm assuming it's got images of the characters on it. I tried to put this in my computer. I knew better. Um, it, it won't run it just because it's an older program. I'm running Windows 7, and this can run. This ran on 95, 97, so old. <laughs> um, I wish there was a way I could get the, the images off of here, but I found this. Maybe I'll get an older computer later on down the road just so I can use some of these older programs that I'm finding at Goodwill. Okay, and something else I found was this plate and Winnie, with Winnie the Pooh on it. It's got a little bit of damage on his face and stuff from use, but other than that, this was this was the only dish that they had. They had other they had other Disney dishes and cups and stuff, but they were so faded and so worn and torn that there was just no point in purchasing it. So this one was the best one that was in the best condition. Alright, and then the rest of it is books. I found more books. Um, I found another one of these, Volume 8 for the Winnie the Pooh series. Fun is where you find it. I found one with Ariel on it. This is another one of those kind of learning books for little kids. It says, Watch Out Ariel, and it says a story about paying attention. And then I found some gold-edged books. Um, found another Winnie the Pooh, Search for Christopher Robin. I think I already have one of these, but that's okay. It was in good condition, so I picked it up. Um, Toy Story. The edge of this one is kind of rough, but it's Toy Story, and I like the artwork in it. The artwork is, it's not the typical Pixar artwork, it's very storybook-like, it just, I, I like it. <laughs> and then I got Peter Pan, I think I have an, another one of these too, I'm not sure. <laughs> I need to keep track of my collection here. And then this one I'm really interested in, if anybody knows about this one, um, the only year date I'm seeing on this is 1950. And if this was made in 1950, this is the best condition I've ever seen one of these golden little books, especially for the 1950s. I mean, it looks like it could have been made in the 1950s just by the way the artwork is and stuff, I mean, but I'm not sure if you can see that, but this is the only spot that I'm seeing a date, and it just says copyright 1950 by Walt Disney Productions. So if you know of the exact year on this, let me know because right now I'm thinking this is from the 1950s, but then again I'm not. So let me know. <laughs> so that's all I found at Goodwill this weekend. Um, the thing I wanted to talk about was my art, just a little bit on it. Um, in no way do I consider myself a professional artist with formal training or formal schooling. I'm just an artist that's trying to put my art out there so everyone can see just like any other artist has done in the past. And that's what I want to do is I want to share my art with everyone here and just i hoping that everyone will enjoy it. Um, and the other thing is finding good Disney bargains at places that will have sales going on and then finding treasures at Goodwill. Um, 
so yeah I just I mean I just wanted to say that I really hope you guys do enjoy my artwork and the time that I put into it so that way you guys can get a little bit of entertainment um, so yeah that's all I have uh, still planning on Disney World that's still coming up April the 7th and like I said, I will definitely have pictures po being posted up. A lot of pictures will probably be post up, posted up. Again, welcome any new subscribers to my Facebook. I really do hope you enjoy what you're seeing so far. Um, don't forget to kind of scroll through there, go through my pictures. So, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, if you're on my Facebook, please, please, please make sure you put a thumbs up on the YouTube channel too. Um, it'll let me know that you guys are enjoying it, it'll let me know you guys are watching it, and subscribe. So I don't have any subscribers yet. Mm. <laughs> subscribe to my channel. I know I don't, I don't have the greatest videos in the world, but I hope Disney fans, or artists even, are enjoying it a little bit. So, again, like, comment, subscribe. Until next couple days, later. <laughs>